Today we'll be going to Japan, more specifically Osaka, to the Kansai International Airport. Designed by Renzo Piano, the airport is a masterpiece in many regards. It was the first airport to be built on an artificial island and also holds the record for the longest concourse. Upon completion in 1994, the Kansai International Airport received much critical acclaim. It was even awarded the Civil Engineering Monument of the Millennium by the American Society of Civil Engineers. However, its reputation has been left tarnished due to its financial failures. Here's a mock-up of what's caused this failure. The top layer is sand and gravel, and the lower layer is clay soil, providing a similar composition to Kansai. As I place this weight on top of this, the clay will compact, and the lock itself will sink. This is what is happening at Kansai. As you can see here, the lock has sunk into the sand. This is subsidence. Now this subsidence or sinking was expected. However, what happened at Kansai was that the subsidence was far greater than they had calculated for. It was a massive miscalculation. Consequently, they've had to raise the airport up multiple times using jacks, and this extra maintenance has increased the cost significantly. The situation itself can be summed up as a failure of following through thoroughly with engineering method. There's a scene with poor planning and poor design, which is what was the cause of this excessive subsidence as to what was calculated, and that's what contributed to the high cost of the project. As a result, I think the lesson to be learned here is how important following engineering method can be to the success or failure of a project. This is certainly emphasised when comparing Kansai to other more recent artificial island airports such as Centre. At Centre, they followed engineering method thoroughly. And as a result, they haven't had the subsidence problems that Kansai has suffered from. That's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.